President Joe Biden says he's betting on millions more rapid at-home tests to help curb this latest wave of COVID-19. But U.S. manufacturers say those tests are quickly disappearing from the shelves, warning it could take weeks to ramp up production. They say production was slashed when demand for COVID-19 tests plummeted over the summer. In Utah, Governor Spencer Cox says he's not happy with the lack of COVID-19 rapid testing here in the U.S. The governor tweeting his concerns today, saying past administrations have, quote, failed us. ABC 4's Jordan Burroughs reaching out to him today and checking on where our state stands with rapid COVID testing. He joins us now live outside the Maverick Center in West Valley City. Jordan, what are you learning? Hey, Glenn, first of all, reach out. I reached out to Spencer Cox to ask him about his tweet to clarify it. I mean, and he does have a point. There is a shortage, a national shortage of those COVID-19 testing supplies. But I did want to check it out myself here locally and see what that was like. So I actually got a COVID test here, a rapid antigen test at the Maverick Center. I actually have my results in hand too. No COVID, but I do want to say on the test report, it shows the times at 315 I was here. That's Eastern time, so 115 got that result, and then just 45 minutes later, I was able to get that negative COVID-19 test result. Okay, one, two, three. Four, five. It takes five seconds. So this test is gonna go up both sides of your nose. It's gonna go up about an inch. The COVID-19 rapid tests readily available in Utah, according to the Utah Department of Health, have come under fire from Governor Spencer Cox. Cox tweeted Tuesday, quote, Great thread on the lack of rapid testing in the U.S. It's amazing to me how two administrations have completely failed us on this one thing that is almost as important as vaccines. It's not a secret that there are supply shortages around the country with uh, rapid testing supplies. However, um, Utah Department of Health, we we have plenty on in stock and on hand. Brittany Brown with the Utah Department of Health says testing sites and hours have expanded recently. She is happy with how testing is going. However, she knows there are some hurdles. Of course, you know, test demand can increase as cases increase and, you know, it's hard to kind of predict what times everybody might want to go and to what sites they might choose to go to. There are around 200 COVID-19 testing sites in the state, but not all of them offer rapid tests. We went to one that does. Okay, were you wanting to do a rapid test or a PCR test? We went during the day, which UDOH says is the best time to go and avoid wait times. Local pharmacies are selling take-home COVID-19 testing kits too. Brown says, however, UDOH gets first dibs on the rapid COVID-19 testing kits. There may be times where wait times are longer, but we're doing our best to try to be proactive and anticipate that and ensure that, you know, that won't be an issue. In Governor Cox's thread of tweets, he did mention that there are other countries that are faring better when it comes to the availability of those COVID-19 rapid tests. Rest assured, however, from the Utah Department of Health, they say they do have plenty supply here in the state for anyone who needs it to get that COVID-19 rapid test. Reporting live in West Valley City, Jordan Burroughs, ABC4 News.